okay friends this is a case of friction when 60 newtons is acting on 4 kg and 2 kg and both are moving with certain acceleration is asking us to find out what is the tension between the two blocks a simple method is first of all find out the friction on this block mu mg which is nothing but 20 newtons friction on this block is 10 newtons same mu mg will apply because mu is 1 by 2 here given so it is asking us to find out first acceleration you can find out acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass it is 60 here friction because of these two bodies is 20 plus 10 is going to be 30 so minus 30 by the net mass is 4 plus 2 is 6 here so acceleration is 5 meter per second square if you want to find out the tension the tension is going to be mass into acceleration on this block okay that is 2 into acceleration is 5 plus friction is additional force here additional friction is acting so it is going to be how much 10 so therefore 10 plus 10 is nothing but 20 newtons is going to act on this tension thank you my dear students in this case you have to find out the tensions here okay so what are the tensions let us see here this is having tension t1 uh, let us imagine this is having tension t2 and he is asking us to find out the tension c1 and t2 and first of all you have to find out an acceleration acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass here so what is the net force you can see this is 40 newtons acting upwards downwards and upwards and there is a friction acting which is 10 newtons that is mu mg which is equal to 10 newtons so acceleration is nothing but 40 minus 10 minus 20 because these are acting in opposite directions by the net mass 2 plus 4 plus 4 which is nothing but 10 here so therefore acceleration is nothing but this is uh, 10 by 10 that is 1 meter per second square is going to an acceleration so whenever you want to find out the tension t1 t2 this is coming down so down means m into g minus a so what is m here 4 into 10 minus a is 1 36 newtons and this is tension upwards which is 2 into g is 10 plus 1 okay so 22 newtons like this in a simple way you can find out thank you my hey dear students this is a previous year neat question asked in 2020 so it's asking us to find out an acceleration of a trolley where uh, the trolley is having a friction force because the coefficient of friction is given as 0 0.05 here so friction force is mu mg which is uh, 5 newtons here and you know 2 kg means 20 newtons 2 into g is 20 newtons acting downwards he is finding acceleration he is asking us to find out acceleration so simply it is acceleration is net force by net mass net force means dominating force is 20 and the friction force is 15 so difference you can take and add the two masses which is taken as 12 here so acceleration is nothing but 15 by 12 3 5 15 3 4 12 so 1.25 is going to be our answer that's it so previous year j mains question 2021 not just here this is a wall on which block has been fixed by the applied force okay so this is going to be an applied force now in the opposite direction what is acting normal reaction is acting applied force in the forward direction friction in the upward direction mg in the downward direction applied force is counterbalancing normal reaction okay and friction force is counterbalancing mg you all know friction is nothing but mu into n and what is f friction is nothing but m into g and mu is nothing but n n means f into a and is asking us to find out the applied force applied force is nothing but mg by mu m is how much m is 0 0.5 and g is 10 okay and mu is 0 0.2 okay so with this it is understood that this is 1 times this is 2.5 times therefore 25 newtons is going to be your answer that's it my dear friends how can you solve this problem without using free body diagram in just uh, 5 seconds let us see here now so one body of mass m is hanging downwards that is taken as mg one body is resting on the table having certain friction and that is taken as friction is mu mg that's it acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass acceleration net force means difference that means ma minus mu mg 
net mass means this mass plus this mass is going to be 2m over your answer is ready that's it okay so what is that we are getting now this is mg downwards this is mg downwards so mg if you common out 1 minus mu divided by 2m mm gets cancelled acceleration is going to be g by 2 into 1 minus mu is going to answer so first option that's it my dear students this is a previous year question related to friction so you can solve this friction method problem without any free ball diagram in just seconds you can just see here now so what is going to happen here he is asking us to find out an acceleration here this three masses are same let us imagine the friction on this mass is mu mg and this mass also mu mg because it is said that all the masses are same so this combined together can be taken as 2 mg to mu mg and in this direction downward it is going to be mg so acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass so what is the net force applied force is mg minus friction force is 2 mu mg divided by net mass means I add all the three and here mg if you common out 1 minus 2 mu divided by 3m so mm gets cancelled what is left now g into 1 minus 2 mu divided by 3 so c option is going to be a correct answer that's it my dear friends this is a question in which tension c1 and t2 are asked here now you can find out first of all an acceleration acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass what is the net force let us see here you know that 40 newtons and 20 newtons is acting downwards only 60 newtons is acting downwards friction is equal to mu mg which is mu is given as 1 by 4 therefore mu mg means 10 newtons is acting left side so net force means 60 newtons downwards and 10 newtons backwards 60 minus 10 by net mass total mass 4 plus 2 plus 4 is 10 newtons therefore you're getting 5 meter per second square and acceleration you know any body coming downwards td down m into g minus a is the formula so therefore p1 is nothing but 4 into g minus a that is 4 into 10 minus 5 which is nothing but 20 newtons t2 you have to find out same formula m into g minus a because it is coming downwards both the blocks are coming downwards so totally mass on the tension t2 is 2 plus 4 which is 6 into g minus a which is 6 into 10 minus 5 is going to be 30 newtons my dear 30 newtons so simple it is my dear friends, find the acceleration of a truck so that the block which is attached to the front part will not skid down. Let us see how many forces are acting on that. So this is an acceleration of a truck which is acting like a pseudo force in the opposite direction. The pseudo force acts in the opposite direction that is said to be F here. Okay. And what is acting in this direction? Normal reaction. In the upward direction, friction acts. Mg acts in the downward direction. Let us see what's going to happen. Okay. So now just see here. This is pseudo force ma and normal reaction m here and what else friction is going to be equal to mg okay and you all know friction is equal to mu n or uh, yes this friction taken as mg and n is taken as ma okay mm gets cancelled acceleration of a truck is going to be g by mu so acceleration of a truck is going to be g by mu for example coefficient of friction is 0 0.2 here that is 10 by 0 0.2 which is going to be 100 by 2, which is 50 meters per second is going to be our answer. That's it. So easy. Thank you. My dear students, is asking us to find out what is the value of friction on the surface of the body because of this multiple pulley system. We know that the friction, which is called as limiting friction, is going to be 12 newtons. But what is the friction applied because of this multiple system? You know this is tension T. That means this is also tension T, this is also tension T. These combined together becomes 2T here. So this is 2T means this is also going to be 2T. 2T combined together becomes 4T and this is also 4T. 4T combined together becomes 8T. With this it is understood that 8T is equal to 8T. So T is equal to 10 Newtons. This is 10 Newtons applied on the block whereas limiting friction is 12 Newtons. And you know that limiting friction here, a static friction is equal to applied force. So therefore the K value will be equal to T here because it is less than the limiting friction. So whatever the tension will be there that will be the friction here. Your answer is 10 Newtons. My dear students, generally these type of pulley problems are done by using differentiation. But by PC students, they are unaware of differentiation. For them, I have got a special short trick method. That is sigma TA is going to be constant. These two blocks are moving with an acceleration A1 and A2. And this is moving downwards with an acceleration A3. So according to this concept, 
This tension is T, acceleration in the same direction cos 0. This tension is T, acceleration in the same direction cos 0. And this is tension T and T, 2T combined together, 2T is upwards, acceleration is downwards. So 2T A3 cos 180. So cos 0 is 1, cos 180 is minus 1. So we write here T, T, T gets cancelled. Then what is left here? A1 plus A2 minus 2A3 is equal to 0. From this, what I'm going to get here? I'm going to get that a1 plus a2 is equal to 2a3 or the shortcut formula is a3 is going to become average of these two that is a1 plus a2 by 2 average of these two directly can apply thank you my dear student this is a previous year j mains question in which there is a hemispherical boil and the insect can crawl up to this height and again skid down we have to find out how much is going to be this height you know this is the radius of a boil and this is R means the component is R cos theta. That means H is going to become how much? R minus R cos theta. And it is given in the problem that coefficient of friction is 0 0.75 which is nothing but 3 by 4. So tan theta is nothing but coefficient of friction mu. That is the angle of friction just like mu is equal to tan theta. That is 3 by 4 means it is going to be 5 here. So you have to find out the height here. Height is nothing but a radius is 1. So 1 minus 1 cos theta. Cos theta here is going to be 4 by 5. So 1 minus 4 by 5 is nothing but 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 is going to be a height. Thank you. My dear friends, I'll give you a simple logical formula here. When you consider a block of mass 1 kg, high coefficient of friction between the block and the wall is 0.5. You are applying the force F uh, and the block should not skip down. What should be the applied force so that the block will not skip down? Here, normal reaction and applied force acting in the opposite direction, counterbalancing each other. So, applied force is nothing but normal reaction. Friction is nothing but mg. So, friction is nothing but mg. You all know f is equal to mu into n. So, f is nothing but mg and mu. n is nothing but the applied force. Therefore, applied force is nothing but mg by mu. And you can write, you can find out an applied force which is mg by mu. So, what is m is equal to 1, g is equal to 10, mu is equal to 0 0.5, 100 by 5, which is nothing but applied force is going to be how much? 20 newtons. Like this, we can find out the applied horizontal force. Thank you.